What is happening, y'all? Welcome back to the long dark. So we finished cooking our venison, and we're gonna just, you know, kind of head on out. So we have Paradise Lost over here. Um, I'm getting kind of low on the fatigue. I mean, I don't need to, to crash immediately. I would have there, but despite him having a little shelter and a fire and all that, there's... Perceivably nowhere to sleep over there. Climbing area. Oh, there we go. Nice some rope. Zeon over there. Now, you want to talk about real dumb shit to do in a situation like this? Climbing up a random rope that you happen to found just dangling over a mountain, that is not smart. That is not advisable at all. You don't know the integrity of this rope. You don't know if it's sturdy. Like this is this is a miracle right now. Stop yawning. Oh, damn. That's super, super messed me up. Um, let's see. I'm going to need to find somewhere to sleep, too. Like, <laughs> I legit just burned through, like, almost all of my fatigue climbing up that thing. I mean, worst case scenario, I can build a fire and just load them up on, like, seven cups of coffee. But the temperature is holding well. I don't know if it's because I got all this nice new gear on, but, I mean, it's, my temp isn't getting affected at all. I'm just kind of like, yep, what's up? You know, I'm nice and warm. I'm cozy. I'm walking around. I'm a little sleepy. Kind of getting hungry. But no, we're good. We're not cold. I sleep in the snow. And if there's a dead deer, that means there's probably wolves or bear or something nearby. As far as my cold level isn't like rapidly dropping considering I'm basically walking through water. It's the right way still, yeah, looks like it is. I'm kinda curious to see what happens, because the whole uh talk from Malthusa, whatever his name is, makes me think that when we hit this paradise lost, it's like Basically, the game starts. Like, up until now, everything's just been a freaking tutorial. But at the same time, I kind of got the feeling like it's going to end as soon as I get there. Guess we'll find out soon enough. We're, we're almost there. Of the Milton region. Ah, Christ, affliction risk. Um, let's do uh let's do this. How much are we over? We're over perfect. This can of peaches is just enough that I should be underweight. Oh no, wait. No, am I? Am I still? Let's see. Alright, my my overall carry is dropping, I think. Because I'm approaching levels of uh, exhaustion. 
You're supposed to be able to sleep in caves, but I don't see... Aware that. Um. It's just a dead end. Yeah, we're back at affliction risk, damn it. Um. Christ. Do I have any energy drinks? Let's eat this. God damn it. Yeah, I need to find somewhere to rest. My guy is losing weight capacity like by the second. Alright, you know what? We're gonna have to. Um. One. Let's drop uh, pieces of that. like one where am I there we go throwing out the, the wood I'm surprised I haven't come across anything in this cave you know, wolves or a bear like outside but I need to find a car or somewhere car a bed anything anywhere that I can rest Thanks to all the players who supported us with the Long Dark was on Kickstarter, Early Access, and Game Preview. Support of our efforts has helped us get to where we are today. So it did end. Huh. You know, the whole, the whole, uh, cave sequence, cons <laughs> considering I just, I entered the cave, I walked through it, I grabbed a flare, and then it just ended, that, that made the cave seem kind of pointless, I guess. Um... But, you know, I don't need to worry about exhaustion anymore. Episode 2, Luminance. See if this picks up after the bear or what it is. Nope, 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 we're not playing that song. Not getting hit with another copyright claim. No thank you. So he's he made it. I guess he killed the bear. That was a mean ass looking bear. Hey, damn it! Not again! Not the lights. Hey. Bear! Easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Whew. 
I was like, dude, I saved you. Name's Mackenzie. I'm the one who saved you from the bear. The killer? I don't think so. But I hit it. Maybe scared of the way. <laughs> Not the way you shoot. Glad your memory's coming back. Shit. He got me good this time. <laughs> this time? Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Me and the old bear go back a ways. Uh. There's... There's unfinished business between us. I bandaged you up, but you're in bad shape. Is there anywhere to get medical help? Hospital. Out here? Nah. Nothing like that. I see you have a radio. Can we call for help? No. Radio's been dead for the past few days. We can't raise any of the usual channels. I'm not sure why. Well, you'll need some stronger meds to avoid infection. And for the pain. He's some kind of doctor. No. But I've been around doctors enough to know you'll be in trouble soon. Unless you get some better help than I can give you. Yeah. Right. Well. <laughs> Closest help is probably in Milton. Back the way you came. Uh, there's nobody left to help you there. The town's pretty much deserted. There was a fire. Town's days away. I'm wrecked. But if you leave now, you might be able to. You won't last days like this. Must be another way. There's. There's someone who might help. But we can only reach them by radio. So, go back to where we started. There's gotta be somewhere nearby that might have medical supplies or another radio we can use. You might find some comms gear, or parts, in the old Carter Dam. It's probably ancient stuff, though. That place has been abandoned for years. It used to have a first aid room. There might still be some old meds there, too. <laughs> Something strong enough to maybe numb this pain. Hang in there. I'll be back as soon as I can. Wait. Wait. The old bear. He's still out there. I've been wanting to finish the job. Okay. Here. You take my rifle. Man, you won't kill him. But you might scare him off again. I'm already weak. Right. Overweight capacity. I can't add a oh, rifle yeah. on. You mean unstable? Damn it. He's passed out. Wounded Trapper. So I get a rifle and uh yeah instantly overweight capacity. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you are. You're gonna have to leave a bunch of shit behind. Uh can we at least like repair the rifle? Make it better? No, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, like I said, I don't I don't think I'm gonna uh where are we at? I don't know. I'm talking because now I finally got a gun, but I'm like you know, kind of back to what I was saying last episode. I don't know if I really care about uh, Kenzie's story enough to continue on past the first chapter of the adventure. I'm just going to leave the rifle behind. I got two rounds with this thing. I need to drop. It's like I drop some meat. Oh, let me. I'm gonna drop.
drop it. Let me like do it all in the corner right here. I'll, I'll tell you what, I, we, we will finish out this episode and uh, we'll see where things are at after that. It seems like we're not really vibing that much. We'll wrap it up and uh, probably start a different game. Not dropping all those again. Um, lantern, I guess. I got tons of flares. That trapper's my key to getting out of here. Better not die on me. Oh, man. We're going way the hell up there. Gee, oh, come on. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Oh, what all happened? Sprained wrist, pain. Didn't we tear clothing while we were while we just did that? 170, 80. Nothing looks that damaged. I mean, that was at 70, I think. <sighs> grumble, grumble, grumble. See if we can find the bear. When at least find the bear. So I feel like if this thing can kill just about any animal, what someone was was saying in the comments, it's like the flare gun is OP in this game because you hit an animal with it and it creates like a burn wound and that will bleed out eventually. So bear, elks. Wolves doesn't matter. You just hit them with a flare, and then follow them for thirty minutes until they're dead. Like that's kind of OP. Oh, great! I'm going the complete wrong way. I do kind of want to take another look at uh, what's it called? The rainforest game I was playing, it's similar to this, but you're an Amazon rainforest. But uh, they also kind of fell into the perpetual early access bubble. I think there's been some progress on it. I'll take a look after this episode's done. That might be fun to play. But I know they had like a very short campaign. Like shorter than, than what we just finished by far. Um, in an open world mode that was kind of fun. But you'd always... Um, what was it? Red? No. Green Hell. Green Hell was the name. But yeah, the open world was like shitty because there was you would get, you would almost always get. What? Lay low till this ankle improves. You're not even overweight. Oh my god, dude! Just walking up a mountain, you damage your ankle. Jesus Christ! Said it was damaged from a fall. We did not fall. But yeah, so before I got interrupted there, um, you would essentially like you would get bit by a snake, and then to treat to treat the venom, <clears throat> you needed to find a leaf. There was like you know a certain kind of medicinal leaf that you would just you'd put on the wound, like you'd wrap it around the wound, and that was enough to uh, to fix you. But the problem was that these leaves they they weren't like random spawns. They were there were like set key spawns. For the leaf in the open world scenario and there were like four or five different potential start points so if you did not start near one of the points where the leaf would be basically as soon as the game started you had to haul ass and you'd get some of those leaves because otherwise you were probably going to end up dead in under a day anyway I mean, there was a but and the whole idea behind the game is it was supposed to be like the the most you know, realistic and brutal survival sim ever made. And, I mean, it was a, it was a cool concept, but 
You know, there is a very fine line, I feel, between making your game realistically difficult, but also trying to preserve the fun factor. Because the problem with Green Hell is, like, you know, you'd have every stat to, like, max finally. You know, you'd be, you would be full on water, you're full on food, your character is healthy, you know, you make a bed, you're like, alright, I'm gonna sleep. And then you'd sleep, and it would be like, oh, you died, because while you were sleeping, maggots crawled into your legs and uh, decided to just eat your insides. It's like, oh, well, that's because, you know, you, you made a bed on the ground instead of going through and building a bed that was supported and off the ground where the maggots couldn't get you. And it's like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'll try doing that. Up. Oh, now, I know you were trying to do that, but instead, it looks like you got bit by a snake while you were trying to make a bed that was off the ground. So now you're going to die of the venom. You'd spawn again. Like, okay, let's, uh, let's try this. And it's like, ah, this time... This time, while you were wandering around looking for food, a wild wet leopard attacked you while you were sleeping and mauled your face. And you're like, God damn it, I just can't get a break in this fucking game. And it's like, there's only so much of that shit you can take before you're finally like, Alright, fuck this, I'm done. <laughs> not, not fun anymore. I mean, to this day, I still have not played a single survival game that compares to Subnautica for me. That was... There's something magical about Subnautica. I think it's like... There's like a little bit of fear to it, because you're underwater, and like, you know, it's it's always dark. You don't really see much. You're going all over the place looking for materials. There's base building. There's above-the-ground base building. There was like a full, really well-done story to it. But even without the story, you could enjoy the game just, you know, building. And there was a really good tech advancement. You know, you started off with like, hey, you hang on to this little thing and it'll pull you through the water. And eventually build up to like, you know, a nuclear submarine and you're, you're getting in fights with leviathans and stuff. Just a really damn well executed survival build your base style game. Got over here. Lookout tower. I feel like this, this is... Probably the best way to get to where he wants me to go is to just stay on these train tracks. We're going to run a bit. I know my fatigue and food and all that will go down, but I don't feel like just slowly trudging around. Ain't nobody got time for that, you know? Fuck you up, you come near me. We're gonna run a bit. <clears throat> and if the wolf is still on us, we're just gonna light this flare. I think it fucked off. Just a pinnacle. Those are my favorite kinds of peaches. Something's gotta go. Something's gotta go. Well, let's first take a look at the clothing here. Uh, legs. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, some spare pants. Ooh. Ah. Um, how's everything else? Like, water, food are getting kind of low. So, uh, 
Let's just do this. That's a whole kilogram. That big boy. Drink up that. A bunch of weight off. And, uh... Drop the reclaimed wood. I still don't even know what the coal's for. We'll drop two lumps of coal. Um, not leaving flares behind. That would just be silly. Um. Guess I don't need a second can opener really. Drop that. Yeah, I think my first can opener is still fine. And this is also this. This just feels really slow, you know. Like. I don't know. Some of the encounters with animals have been kind of fun, but aside from that, I feel like a lot of the time we're spending here is just kind of walking and walking, and I run for a little bit, and then I walk for a little bit, and it's just, I don't know. I think the best way to put it is I think I make my best content when it's a game that I can really, really get engaged with. And right now, this is not that. This just feels like I'm... Um, I almost want to say going through the motions. I'm like, alright, yep, we're here. Alright, let me scavenge this. Okay, got it, alright. On the next area. Eat, drink, sleep. Got Hotter it. Damn. Next area. Okay, eat, drink, Good sleep. Have seen better days. Locked up tight. Cater Hydra Station Area Gate Key, which I'm guessing is inside one of these buildings. Which was conveniently left unlocked for me. Uh, we know some of you like to hang out in the dam during your breaks. The whole facility is a no-go. The place is falling apart and unsafe, especially the lower. If you need another reason or insurance... Won't kick in if you hurt yourself in there. You'll be on your own. Oh, there's beds here. Nice. I can take a nap. Rest up. I think I can use this. Some goodies. Looks like a nice little bed. Ooh, a wool hat. Kinds of goodies. Oh boy. All right, well, anyway, uh, we made it over here. Uh, we're going to close this one out. I'm not sure if we're going to do another part. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I guess I could just wait and, and see what you guys think. Just, uh, uh, yeah. I just feel like I'm, it's very meh, you know? It's not bad, it's just not, it's not what I'm looking for. I think that's the best way to put it. It's not you, the long dark, it's me. Anyway, whether we play more of this or we switch up to a different game, uh, that'll be a decision for tomorrow. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys then.